guys welcome back to my channel this is enigma and you're watching enigma ink so let's do sagittarius for feb 2022 this is an extra read let's see the messages this can go up to march as well okay so now let's see sun moon rising and venus in sagittarius this is going to be a general reading, so take whatever and however this resonates. For more personal readings and accurate readings, you can book a personal reading from me. Within three days, your reading will be delivered and that too online. And if you want to get a spell done from me, which is 100% white and spiritual and the best possible way, it is going to help you manifest through spirituality, through white light, through God. So those interested can uh, book for spells as well. Do not forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for daily, monthly and yearly horoscopes and much more. We also have other cheaper remedies for you as well. Now, let's see. Sagittarius. What are the messages for my subscribers? Do subscribe for more videos and hit the bell for future notifications. Ooh. Mm. okay moon card okay are you feeling too emotional over nothing i feel like you're building certain scenarios which is just making you feel like a victim okay this the situation is gone it is just over you're feeling hurt over someone's deception towards you lying towards you and you might be having sleepless nights here or this was your past because there were a lot of lies and deception and disappointments and regrets. But now, are we three, um, nine and seven? Yes, I feel like you're cutting off from the past completely and moving towards. I feel like this is a slow process because you're still in this energy somewhere. But you're reaching the point where you're going to be most popular. And I see in the whole lot, you're the, you're the one who's seen as most... Um, Active, male or female, very masculine, active, powerful, uh, dependable, trustworthy, active, passionate, and goal-oriented. I also see you may be taking care of yourself. You might you may be going to the gym, exercising more, taking self-care, and grooming yourself. Here, I have one suggestion to you that you might have to <clears throat> take a break from your routine, spend time with your friends, and go out on a you know vacation like take a break you can go to a beach you can go to a desert wherever i don't know whatever place is nearby you should just go for a slight outing because i see there's a lot of work and that is also putting an add-on pressure to you so here you're like a king you're like male or female doesn't matter again i'm saying you're like a lion standing behind so it's, it's it's just like you roar and people run away because you're the most powerful of the lot <clears throat> yeah I, as i told you you're feeling blocked here this is a time where you might have to you know go come out of the same old place and just do something else or you might have to take up another hobby and uh, shift your focus and uh, or balance your focus okay mind body uh, basically mind body spirit these things should be balanced it's not always about mind or soul i feel you need to balance all the things how you can come out of this eight of swords maybe you're overworked you've been uh, under a lot of work mental stress or a past relationship stress and I feel now you have multiple opportunities opening up where you can opt for taking a break, opting a hobby, going to a gym, taking care of yourself, buying new stuff, <clears throat> getting more closer to your family members or closed ones, traveling. I sense traveling a lot. So that is going to keep you uplifted and, you know, a breath of fresh air from another place or another country will add on then extra... Um, masala <laughs> if that makes sense but um ten of ones and the hierophant i feel like you are without a doubt becoming more and more stable with your life okay be it work be it um generally lifestyle you have struggled a lot to be where you have reached 
so the hierophant is now telling me that you're reached to point or you're about to reach the point of stability and with that there is a lot of growth there's a lot to explore for you with a stable um, lifestyle the burden is going to re be released from your shoulders there has been a relocation some of you might have relocated and you have released the burden along with it okay and wherever you are right now is giving you ample space and time so that you can look inside and heal yourself mentally spiritually okay so you're more connected with earth <clears throat> and you have heavenly desires of achieving success Ten of Wands is like you're completely backing off from anything that's giving you stress. You've realized like what is stressing you. You're working on it. And I see like you're looking to other options. Like there are two uh, wands. Okay. You're avoiding this one. You're looking for what's new for you. Sagittarius. Let's see the love messages here. I want to see more love messages for you. Uh, King of Cups. Knight of Cups. Okay. There is someone I feel like while traveling or this person is a frequent traveler. They might have tattoo on their arm or their hand or somewhere. This person is actually taking interest in you or will take interest in you. And I see a message coming in. There's going to be a to and fro communication. And there is passion. And this person will be quite interested in knowing you more because they, they love uh, giving flowers and you know pampering the person they like so they're they're going to be pampering you a lot the night is like this person's coming with communication and love so this is someone who will be loving you uh, showing you a lot of love and respect scorpio pisces cancer someone who's um innocent who's, who's like a fun loving person casually uh, living their life and also see them might have some obsessions in their past but uh, Sagittarius I feel you have disconnected yourself from an obsessive past lover you completely ended the cycle with this obsessive past lover I feel like you were obsessed with them and then you had to you figured it out that it's not healthy and you cut off the ties or this person was not um, good for you okay they were really toxic they were like doing some magic like it is not actual magic, but through their negative emotions, negative expectations and negative behavior, they were doing that spell on you subconsciously. And now that you enter the cycle and ready for this new cycle, this new person to come into your life, you're feeling all the more happy and open and embracing new things in life. You're happy about whatever is coming for you. With the green over here, I see like your heart is opening up to newer possibilities and you're thinking positively. And with the world again, I see a lot of traveling here. Ten of Wands is also telling me about you going to a different country for a change, having some fun, feeling happy about exploring new places, new restaurants. I would say uh, traveling is important for you, right? At least in March, you should. The world, I see a recognition if you're on social media, if you're an influencer, this is a time where you will be heavily recognized by your clients or the people around the world. And I see you making a lot of money. So you might take up an activity that is worldly, that is going to be including globally people around you, not just in your place, but uh, outside your circle. So that is going to make you make a lot of, um, earn a lot of wealth some of you might invest big money big amount four of uh, pentacles in this uh, seven of pentacles yeah okay whatever you're investing on whatever you're putting your heart and soul in those efforts will be paid off but you need patience because it's just the beginning i feel like you've started a new beginning a new journey towards money and it's gonna grow not instantly you have to have that understanding that don't get too obsessed with money too soon i feel it's gonna happen slowly okay so seven of pentacles is growth towards abundance financial abundance financial gain from the efforts that you've put in in the past all right i need to know more about love here Ooh, I just said that and this is here. Okay, I see like as I told you, when you're traveling, okay, that's how you meet this person. Maybe they're not from the same place or background or religion or whatever it is. 
but they are human being this is what all matters this person's loving kind generous sensitive and has a big big heart i feel like this this they're going to help you in some way or they they have a lot of wisdom they talk through emotional intelligence this could be a virgo person scorpio pisces cancer someone who has left a lot of mark this person someone who's popular okay maybe in their locality or on social media somehow they are quite popular they stand out and that's the kind of a person who's coming and i feel like they're someone who's a giver okay male or female does not matter this is someone who's a giver this will start off as um, a knight and then they'll turn into king that means this person will start chasing you initially like very positive chasing like uh, simply dating and getting to know each other loving kind and then their love will get stronger with time and i feel like they always want to be left alone some of the time they need their own place secluded so that they can go inside and explore themselves they have a lot of knowledge about science maybe or their subject whatever it is but i feel this is someone who's studious who's who's quite intelligent and they think before they take action and they always want their alone time this is a person who might come towards you this could be someone at your workplace at a senior position who might be giving you um a good guidance how to make money or something related to money or this could be a banker as well okay but i do see six of pentacles is some sort of a help financial help also coming in <clears throat> they will be quite practical okay they will show their love through giving okay through helping and it's gonna happen like slowly and slowly let go of control issues okay somewhere i feel a uh, sagittarius you might get too skeptical of them or anyone that's coming over so i feel like first you just get to know that person and be open to it and see how things roll okay don't make up scenarios heart to heart conversations definitely this person will open up their heart to you they'll tell you how things are going on in their life like how do you make them feel you know this person's fall going to fall in love with you definitely this is someone new this is not the one that you're looking for like someone that you already know this could be someone that you just met or someone that is just coming okay and you need to travel some change is required and yeah this is your soulmate that's coming into your life other messages please yeah so this is a time where you're gonna date each other get to know each other more and deeper and see how things roll because this, this is looking like a genuine connection i feel you both will get to know each other more deeply so it's going to be a month of getting to know more deeper you know you guys each other sagittarius okay yeah adjustments i feel this person as i told you is coming from another place or a background they might have different lifestyle you know certain things they would really appreciate if you adjust to their lifestyle if you take up those things and if this person also i also sense that they have such wisdom that they're going to take up certain uh, lifestyle of yours they're going to adjust to yours and they would expect the same from you like they want maturity in this connection they don't want kiddishness or childishness yeah again i got that adjustments and compromise this person would really appreciate if you guys would take up each other's lifestyle a little bit and adjust to each other's needs and accept each other the way they are this is what love is love is not what we see in the movies right so <clears throat> could be a libra person they also want you to be loyal just the way they are because if cheated they will get so badly hurt and they'll leave within no time okay so they want balance they want respect they want equal give and take first chakra this is relating to the king of wands i feel like you're in a power right now here sagittarius most of you watching this could be men or in masculine energy right now you have the energy to give okay to help to um, make a lot of money so i see like your strength and stability will be increased so whatever you're doing you, you will become stable in it like if this is a job that you're doing you will become permanent if this is a business it is going to grow and become stable and uh, if this is a relationship you're going to strengthen it because angels are with you and your base chakra is getting more strong you're full of fire and passion and dignity and grace 
changed so i do see you also feeling like your life has changed a lot so there has been a 360 change happening it is not the relationship it is you who has done this okay so you all applauds to you so you've made this happen you did it okay you did it you brought the change that was required in your life if this has resonated so far do like share and comment exchanging gifts i see you might go into some event okay you might travel for attending someone's marriage event or going to a party a happening place you you will enjoy okay you might be called at that place you might meet make up new friends meet new friends yeah i told you you're going to strengthen that is why i see a lot of red hair you're in a king of wand energy male or female because you're going to strengthen your position or bond with people and your position wherever you are even with a new beginning here you're definitely going to strengthen relationship and it all depends upon how dedicated you are if it's about relationship it's gonna grow abundantly from one to eight that means that infinite love and if it's about uh, career then you started it and you made a mark for yourself you're stable here because you were dedicated you had been not swaying away from your goal that is very important mm. now i would like to see from aries to pisces whoever you're dealing with right now what do they feel Aries to Pisces feelings for Sagittarius okay Aries Aries has already fallen in love this is the one I was talking about or oh, they might have moon sign or rising ascendant to somewhere in um Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Aries, okay? Taurus, this person who's been thinking about you and thinking about the long term with you, but they want to get to know you more, as I told you. Gemini is seeing you as a world, like you're like their wish, and you, you are someone very different from this person. They want to get to know you more, and I feel this person is also thinking about settling down and tying the knot. Cancer wants to grow with you. I feel like this person feels happy when you're around. And they feel like you have brought a major change in their life and they see a future. Yeah, they see a happiness. They've started feeling happy with you. Then we have Leo's. Leo is leaving the situation because they are disappointed or they're not feeling enough loved. Virgo is coming towards you within... I think it's, it's, this person is more like outwardly right now and not thinking about marriage or something for now at least. But I do see there is a high potential that this person will be the one. Libra is highly attracted to you, the way they look to you. I feel like you also see that this person has been looking at your eyes a lot. Or they have beautiful eyes. I don't know, something with eyes, they are very attracted to you. Scorpio. Scorpio wants to keep it professional for now or they're just acting like that. But later you'll come to know. But right now, don't go for it. Sagittarius moving forward they want to take this forward or this is you who wants to travel <clears throat> Capricorn sees you as a happy-go-lucky person they feel like you're childish or innocent they really love this fact I feel like the Capricorn person feels quite excited when they talk to you when they feel, when they see you when they sit with you Aquarius channel ones Aquarius has a lot going on in their life. They are heavily burdened and I feel like they are losing the hope with you. Pisces. Pisces full of love here. I do see a love offer coming in. This person's fallen in love. If this is not yet in your life, they're coming. Okay. So yeah, that's all I have for you Sagittarius. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. Till then, I will see you with more such videos. 